Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 Cleveland Guardians. All right, ready to go here. And towing the slab for the Cleveland Guardians, Shane Bieber. And Singy, he's a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Rosario collects. Rosario tosses the first. One up, one down. Batting second, the center fielder, Luis Roberts. Digging in, Luis Robert. Good contact guy, good defender. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Well struck left field. And off the base of the wall. The throw into second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Batting third. The first baseman, Jose. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. And a pitch. Down the left field line, base hit. In comes the first run of the game as the White Sox take the lead. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. Yoan Moncada now at the plate. The pitch. The pitch. On the ground right side. Four. Six. And he'll hold on to it so they get one. That is good. The left fielder, Aloy. Now the left Jimenez. fielder, Aloy Jimenez. And a pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. They take the force out, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. And our pitcher in this game, Lance Lynn. Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. Anderson to first. One gone bottom half of the first. That is second. Not shortstop. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ahmed Rosario. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. The third baseman. Okay. And now the veteran third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Here comes the pitch. In the air, right field. Pollock. Has this one sized up? Puts it away for the out. Batting four. The designated hitter. Ranmir. Reyes. Franmil Reyes digs in for the Guardians. 
big situation right here. You've got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? And he'll one. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Rosario off of first with two away. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Brad Mill Reyes goes deep, and the Guardians jump in front. It's 2-1. Singy, I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it did, Bird. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. Now it's going to be Bobby Bradley. Bobby. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Next offering is fouled back. Bradley waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. And he hits a ground ball right side, and there's a hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's the left fielder, Daniel Johnson. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Slow roller to first. Over to Anderson. Out. Out number three. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back here in Cleveland, top of the second, and now it's going to be Yasmani Grandal. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now, A.J. Pollock. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. That one down the line, but that rolls foul. Line drive, caught! Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Gavin Sheets digs in now. The pitch. 
on the ground right side. Jimenez throw to first. Third out. Down in order go the White Sox. And our score remains 2-1. Here in Cleveland, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Austin Hedges stands in. And here it comes. Smash to the left side. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Batting none. The white field. Bradley. Here's Bradley Zimmer. Zimmer. And the pitch. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Back there. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And there's one down. And he hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Field, Tell you what, that wind is seven. blowing straight in. Oh, yeah. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. And the pitch. Hit hard. Base hit. The run comes in from second, and they lead by two. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Next to hit, Ahmed Rosario. Singled and scored his first time. And that one fouled off. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Hedges at third. Straw over at second with one down. Bounce to the left side. Throw pulls him off the bag at first. Everybody's safe. Bases loaded. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. The pitch. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. And it's gone! Jose Ramirez bops one out. A four spot on the board. It's 7-1. He comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Base is empty one away. Fran Mil Reyes digs in for the Guardians. On the ground. And a foul ball. Here's your one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two away now. So up next, Bobby Bradley. And he's already singled in this game. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The wide to kick the pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. 
The Rockets one to right, and they boost their lead. It's 8-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Daniel the left Johnson. Fielder, number 23, Daniel. In the air, center field. Robert drifts towards it. And that is the third out of the inning. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. It's now 8-1. to one. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. The, White Sox. the second baseman, Josh Bieber, back Harrison. to work. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning, it's a leadoff double. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything. Really good balance, nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the shortstop, Tim Anderson. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Harrison at second with nobody out. That's out to center field. Oh, he can't bring it in. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So digging in, Luis Robert doubled his first time up. Foul ball there. You and I got a chance to broadcast the 2019 All-Star game. And the city of Cleveland did such a great job. I felt like wherever you turned, there was some type of ad for the All-Star game, a face of one of the players playing in the game. But the city overall supported the event really well. No outs. Runners at first and third. In the air, right side. Zimmer under it. The throw in. And they put the tag on him for the out. Yeah, and I think the players uh, backed it up from the home run derby and the show that was put on between you know, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonzo, and others. It was off the charts. And then the game is always special. When you see the best in baseball, you remember how special this game is. And to be here at this ballpark, uh, I think, just was the icing on the cake. And that'll do it. The Guardians take this one in a blowout. And one by seven runs. It's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1 to one. for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. First for the victorious Cleveland Guardians. Eight runs on eight hits. No error.